you know, I, I wouldn't be here too without her. She was a big part of it. She was, um, see, I'm getting. Take your time, take your time, take your time with it. Yeah, take your time. Now, speaking of Jade, I want you to be able to sit down and you know throw those flowers out there because y'all had a relationship for how long as far as working together? Gosh, over twelve years. Over twelve years, y'all had a y'all y'all was what they call it work a work wife work. Yeah, yeah. Work. Sure. How was how was uh, the overall chemistry with you and her, and how like as far as good was she when it comes to doing this radio stuff? And again, to be able to give her flowers. Okay, you're gonna make me sad. Oh, man, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, man. But again, K104 is a family, and we hear her voice every day. We hear y'all's chemistry. And again, I just want to be able to say, like, you know, the flowers where flowers deserve, just how, again, important was she to um, just your, to your come up? Well, I'll just say that, um, you know, again, it, it's, um, it's unfortunate. It's sad. I'm getting sad now thinking about it. Every time I I think some days, I, I mean, you know, I have a breakdown or whatever. Um, she, you know, I, I wouldn't be here too without her. She was a big part of it. She was, um, see, I'm getting. Take your time, take your time, take your time know. with it. Yeah, take your time. I don't know. Let yeah. her tell it. I'll let her tell it, right? You, I'll, um, you know, anytime I say something, you know, I've been accused of not giving her the opportunity to say it. So from here on out, I'm choosing just to say, you know what? I love her. I wish her well. She's, you know, whatever she needs. If she ever needs anything from me, I got her. But if you guys want to know what happened, that's up to her to tell. That's not my story. That's hers. And, um, you know, that's all I can say about it. Um, yeah. Yeah. One of the things I always never understood about radio is like, well, with her, y'all actually gave her a send off. But I remember Junebug. He was gone and just, he was just gone. Like, <laughs> did nobody say shit? They and, just and, and by the way, I'm glad you said that, right? So, so here's the thing. When we gave her a send off, and I want everybody to understand, Jay did resign, okay? She resigned. And, and when, when we gave her the send off, we didn't know where she's going. What you said about Junebug, let me tell you what they do in radio. Normally, if somebody resigns, we don't know where they're going. If they're going to our competition, do you think we're getting ready to, oh, yeah. to give them love if they get ready to go up against oh, us and be our no love here. We're not going to do that, right? And, but we did do this. That I wanted to do this for Jade. This is my girl that I thought all these, we did that. And I was accused of not letting her say something, right? Okay. So, but they do do that because we're not quite sure. And one of the reasons why they do that, and sometimes you don't know what's going on, is what if you tell somebody, um, you know, we no longer want you to work here. Now they get on the air and they say something live on the air, either about the company, they cuss, they do this. You jeopardize the position of the radio station. So business says normally if you say you don't want to work here or they're getting, they don't let you say nothing right for fear there. of you ruining, you know, that's business says I can't let you get on the air. I don't know what you're getting ready to say. Um, so, so again, that's why that happens sometimes, right? It depends on how they, they fell out, but this one wasn't, we wanted people to know, and we wanted Jade to know how we felt. But again, she, she so there's no bad blood with nope, you and Jade. Not from me. Not from me. Great. Okay. Well, we appreciate that. Now with Michael Sean. Not with Michael Sean either. Okay. We heard. We were hearing the streets were saying he had a drinking problem, and he said it, and he did. He got on the air, and we talked about it on the air. Michael Sean talked about it. He had struggled with alcoholism, um, uh, and you know it's a disease, and. Right. You know, it's sadly, you get one drink, it's over. Anybody will tell you, if you're an alcoholic, you get one drink, and it's done. And we talked about it on the air with Michael Sean. I love working with Michael Sean. I hated that he had to go. Um, but once we became syndicated, you have to understand, and people don't even understand this, too, in Dallas, we have 60-something other stations that we have to answer to, 60-something bosses I have to answer to, you know, uh, uh, listeners I got to answer to. So if somebody's on the air slurring, I ain't going to be, I mean, how do I answer that? Like that's, and right. they're expecting, they're paying for our show and they're expecting a level of professionalism. So Michael Sean, he knew it and he'll tell you he messed up. And he and I still talk to, we talk to this day. Shout out to Real Street Stars, nigga. Moving.